ladies and germs, boys and girls, Skyclad Gaming, and we're back again at SCAM, and we're doing some party in here. Unfortunately, I'm all by myself. I hope the music is not too loud first, and secondly, I hope... I hope... Uh, it's not copywritten, but anyway. I've heard that SCAM has no copy, uh, free reality music, so it should be fine. But I believe this is a safe zone area where players can interact with each other, I think, and do transactions in the future, most likely. I'm not sure if that's a fact or not. But uh, I've heard that bullets are useless in here and they don't do damage, so I think it's a safe zone. Period. It's just like that simple. I thought this would have been full of zombies. I was here before, full of puppets. I was here before, but uh, I did not dare to step inside. I asked on the chat but nobody answered so I mean nobody answered nobody, everybody said like you know try give it a try whatever so hey I'm giving it a try right now and I don't see anyone in here these things unfortunately we can't grab anything in here no items found even though it's full of liquor in here can't grab anything can't get fucked up in here so I'm wondering if I shot if I shoot my gun in here what's gonna happen I don't want to try it I am let me show you where I am right now let's hit in here so we're in here basically the safe zones are a2 a1 my home is down there for whatever reason if you want most likely this thing will be wiped down in a couple of weeks time they updated the uh, they, they, updated, they, they had a new patch yesterday and uh, yeah supposedly a1 and a2 are safe zones I'm outside of uh, safe zone I'm on A3 right now this area in here there's plenty of uh, antennas in here or whatever thing it's like a blue horizon it's one in here and I think there's one in this area in here somewhere I'm not sure I don't remember exactly where I've seen but I've seen one in in somewhere in here in this area uh, when I played on the single player server so music is kind of cool though but anyway let's go this would be nice to interact with other players, like, you know, hanging around in here would be cool. Do some transaction, probably, or... Like, where players don't have to worry about being shot or shooting others. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Kind of like it. Can we rest? Come on. We cannot rest. But we can rest on our own. Yeah, man. Whatever. So, yeah, I'm just experimenting things in here. This is, you know, the Paradise server. It's a cool server, plenty of players, a lot of active players are actually. Right now, there are about. There were about 70 players online, I think. They increased the, the slot of the server. Let me see how many uh, players were in here. Well, I guess I cannot see it because they had uh, the lottery earlier, whatever, so it shows how many players, but there's a lot of players in online right now, so, anyway. Uh, okay, this is like about three flights of stairs underground. And I'm kind of lost right now, I don't know where the exit is. Okay, there it is. So, yeah, so... one and that's the main floor no not yet main floor now we're on main floor almost no actually no so yes play oh we're a lot a lot of more flights so basically it is about four or five flights of stairs down underground if you count it and there's plenty of stuff in here like a lot of military thing uh, around here but you cannot loot anything in here because i don't know why there's nothing in here. Like you cannot open the door in there. There's actually there's nothing around this area. So there is antennas. Like if you look around in here, I, I've I've searched these things before, and there's no items in here. So anyway, oh yeah, I'm gonna fall if I I'm gonna get injured. 
and if I fall from there, so anyway, that's a bunker or a different location. What is this? I'm not sure what is this all about. You can't open them. Birds are chirping. You can hear them. So it's pretty cool. To be honest. He's gasping for hair. Yeah, let's walk a little bit. Let's jog a little bit. Yeah, so doing some... R&D research and development. Just the problem is that we're only doing R research, developing. There's not the developing here. I'm wondering what would happen if I shoot my gun in here. Uh, nothing because I have no bullets. I need to load it up. Would it even show damage? Let's see. Alright, so... Usually when you shoot a gun like this, in an open area, most likely puppets will... Uh, will come, but... So far... Come on, man. We can jump in there. There you go. We can climb everything. We can climb everything in here. We can be like Tarzan in here. Oh, that would be a nice spot to shot to shoot people. You lay down in here. Eh, I don't think so. Because the background over there, you cannot see shit, but they can see you, you cannot see them. So. I haven't joined the. I mean, I, I I've done some death matches in here on the game, and yeah, I really suck at it because I don't take it seriously. Actually, it's, it's just a game. I, I don't need to take it serious. Uh, I've done the Metal Gear Solid thing. I've actually that that was one of the best games I've played. The Metal Gear Solid was quite it quite interesting and all those things like the the raiding the riding the raiding the camps and st stealing nooks and stuff like that it was like you know something interesting so this one in here it's kind of similar what the hell is this oh it's just glass Can we enter in here? No, we cannot enter. Well, apparently we cannot enter anywhere. I'm not sure if you can... Can we even... Cut trees in here? Can we even build anything in here? Yeah. We can cut. I don't want to build anything in here anyway, but... Uh... Now, let me show you what I mean about... Let's slow down a little bit. Put on autopilot. That's my car over there. Yeah, there's, there's not much to, to, to show in here, to do in here, I think. It's just, I was curious before I came in here, rainy day, it was almost night time. It was pretty dark, foggy and rainy day, so I did not enter those clubs. I thought it was one of those uh, puppets hordes or whatever, so I did not want to get jumped by puppet because I uh, removed my gear, basically. I went almost with the... Uh, uh, with the shotgun in here only because you can find the shotgun everywhere I have in the camp in my base I have about two three of them and I dropped I kept only shotgun and uh, shotgun bullets which I have quite a lot and yeah I went in there I did not want to get jumped by a horde of puppets so I exit so 
I came in a better day today, sunny day. So let me show you the antennas. Or whatever. I hate this thing. Like I really hate this thing. Like if if the developers looking, please do something about that. That's really annoying. I mean the I understand if you have no skills too, but the driving skills at least are like you know basic. Don't have in grind the gears like that. But anyway, that as I was saying, these are the thing those are the antennas. I don't know if you can hear the humming sound it's coming from it. So I think this is a safe zone. They say bullets do not sorry, bullets do not uh, do not do anything in here. So there's plenty of antennas. There's a circular thing like this. I'm gonna go, let's go, let's go around in here. Let's see. Let's enter the base with the car and maybe try and go the other side. Keep it on second gear, boy. Keep it on second gear. Give us the option. Come on, developers. Give us the option to keep, like, you know, speed on second gear or whatever, to choose gears with a scroll mouse, for example. I understand you hit the throttle. But let us decide, like, you know, which gear we should choose. And then let us decide if we should grind. I mean, if we should choose second or first. And then the game should decide if uh, we grinding gears or not, so... But grinding gears and stalling the car on third gear is kind of ridiculous. So this was the safe zone. So I remember this thing when I was when I was coming from uh, when I first found the car and I was coming to the safe zone. He stole again for doing nothing actually. Like I did not touch anything. It was a neutral and he stole the car. Like, anyway, anyway, so as I was saying, let me hit the map. I was in here, in this area, in here, all the way in here. I found a car and I came through here. I tried to come, like, you know, I was, I took this route or whatever. I filled up the car and then I came in here. I decided to come through here, but then I got scared because I had no idea, no clue what this thing was, what this barricade was. So I tried to stay away from it as much as possible so I did a circle around it I entered the base and then I end up in here which is quite far I should have built a base in here but in a few weeks time in two three weeks time I think I hear that they are gonna wipe down the servers everything they're gonna wipe down the game because they're gonna release a patch or something I don't know what's going on so anyway I came all the way down here build the base but in here I was supposed to be dead by now or whatever because it's not a safe zone anymore but I'm pretty sure if I step out of there, I will be uh, barbecued. Look at that. Stalling on roof. Anyway. Wow. It's really annoying. I mean, driving the car in here on this game. It's really frustrating. But anyway, what can you do? <laughs> I know people are gonna say, "Oh, develop your own game, whatever." It's okay, you know. They could do that thing a little bit better. When I play the what do you call the American truck? Oh, I didn't see this thing in here. Handbrake, American truck simulator. I don't even grind the gears as much as I I grind them in this game. It's automatic, by the way. The, the grinding of the gears it's automated. But the developer should give us the option. Oh, we were here. They should give us the option at least, like with a scrolling wheel, with a wheel scroll or whatever. They should give us like, like an auto. Because you know what? This is uh, automatic. If you want us to grind the gears, you want to make it realistic, then let us choose the gears and clutch and stuff like that, and let us grind the gears like that. But you can't put. So they should put either the cars on automatic. Or give us the option to select gears because on uphill, like you go on uphill, even though the skills are basic or whatever, it when you try to keep on second gear, try to stay on second gear, it doesn't, it drops down. So, anyway, that's one of the frustrations that I have with uh, driving the car. I really don't like it, it's not realistic, it's really, really unrealistic. So, 
I think the developers failed in that perspective, so... I hope they change it in the future. I don't know if the... The scroll wheel does nothing. Like the left mouse does nothing. Maybe they should do something about those things, probably like have uh, somebody have built a base in there. I thought it was not allowed to build bases in here. Yeah, that's scum police. Anyway, so the experiment it's over almost. Let's go to Mikey's. Wait, what they say in here? I hear me. <sighs> they put the rules, but I hear. I hear robots. Was I ever here before? Hey, so. Should I go exper should I go exploring there? Should I go get killed over there? Anyway, I'm gonna go get killed over there outside of uh What what it says in here? Keep out. Base under construction, sorry. Keep out. Yeah, I don't think I can keep out. You know it's not developers that they made the thing is not under the rules. So, sorry boys, I will investigate that uh, military base over there. But I will investigate it outside of uh, the video. Uh, if you guys want to see me explore that thing and die over there, leave it down below in the comment section. Other than that, consider subscribing and hit the thumbs up on the video if you liked it. And if you disliked it, you know what to do, hit the thumbs down. And uh, I'll put a Discord, my Discord link on the, uh, on the description. Uh, I just started the Discord right now. I mean, I don't want to use the Facebook, so I'm going to try and use Discord. So I'm going to put the link on the description. And uh, thanks for watching. I catch you guys in the next adventure. Bye.